Hello and welcome to my channel. Lisey Lise here. Warm welcome if you are returning and you've been rocking with me. If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Welcome back. And if you are finding me for the first time, warm welcome. I hope that my video and my page, the content is useful and interesting for you. And if you've got any questions or comments, anybody drop them in the comment section and I will always answer and always respond. So I am a sister lock enthusiast. I have had my sister locks for five years. Well, it will be five years in December. Sorry, it's not five years yet. We're on the 31st of August, 2024. I also have a nine year old daughter who has sister locks. And in September, it will be five years for her. This is my second set, by the way. So I had them first and then my daughter had them. Um, took down my set and I've got this second set in. I also have a 23 year old son and he has now had brother locks for six months. And let me just say at the outset, I didn't sit down and think to myself, we're all gonna get locks. My husband doesn't, by the way, my husband shaves his head off. Shaves, shaves his head off, shaves his hair off. <laughs> shaves his hair off um so it's just my children and i that have got locks and it wasn't intentional it was fairly organic um i had natural uh, sorry i had relaxed hair grew up with relaxed hair got to having a daughter of my own and it seemed to chime with the time where i was thinking i want to become natural conscious of wanting to embrace my natural hair mindful that i didn't have a clue what i was doing had a busy job professional job so I needed something that was going to be presentable practic practical and easy for me to manage as I travel and do what I need to do out the house um, and I came across sister locks I wasn't looking they found me I found them on a beautiful sister locker from Canada um, and that was it once I realized that that was actually her hair and it was natural I was like I'm all, I'm in I want that I couldn't believe how easy it was I couldn't believe that you didn't need to use products and it just it was just it was perfect for me so that's why I got sister locks and then uh, my daughter wanted them which was brilliant because I'd rather that than relaxed hair or anything else like that uh, and then my son it just made sense for him to get them because he was getting his hair plaited and all the rest of it and it just yeah just made sense so we're all really happy with our lock journey. And I thought on this video, I would give you some insight into what we do to manage our locks at these different stages where we're all at. So first and foremost, the reason I've actually come on here is because I am in the process of a pre-poo. I'm gonna go wash my sister locks. I typically wash my locks every 10 to 14 days. Um, and after I have a retie, three to five days after I have a retie, my scalp can get really itchy and I itch away at the front and it becomes quite flaky. And that's what's happened this time round. It's not all the time, but I find after I've had a retie, I feel quite itchy. So I have got aloe vera gel from the health shop. You can get it online, Amazon, etc. But I've got it from Holland and Barrett. I don't use the natural one because I don't want to strain it. I can't be bothered. I also don't want the pulps. So I get this from the um, from the health store and I've rubbed this generously into my scalp. Um, it's clear and it's a gel consistency. Um, and what I would normally do is put a shower cap on. I'm just rubbing it out the back. I would normally put a shower cap on and just get on with my business for about an hour or two or whenever until I was ready to wash it out. And then I would go in and thoroughly, thoroughly wash it out. Then what I do, and I found that that's massively helped me with my scalp psoriasis. Then what I do is I wash my, my scalp thoroughly with tea gel and I'd do two lots of this. I'd wash it twice not two bottles, two lots of this, um, and wash it out really, really thoroughly. And then what I do is I just give it, I give my actual locks a good wash with the Almacado Stage 1 Seawood, seawood seaweed shampoo. My goodness, seaweed shampoo. There's also a peppermint shampoo, but I just like the smell of the seaweed shampoo and I'm still on stage one even though I'm five years in and I don't band and braid my hair anymore um, it doesn't need anything more conditioning than this and and this is more nourishing and cleansing this is a cleansing shampoo so this works perfectly fine for me it's got enough nourishment and it feels good so I've never used conditioner in my hair 
um, or anything like that. In my daughter's locks, her hair is a little bit more thirsty than mine's. Um, and so I have used conditioner in my daughter's hair in the past, but to be quite honest with you, this serves all of us. Um, Almacardo is a business, a skincare and hair care business that is run by Annette Clark, who is a UK based sister lock consultant um, and also a trichologist. And so this, this is what we've been using in our locks and it's absolutely amazing for us. So very happy with that. My daughter only needs this. My son pretty much, pretty much only needs this. Uh, because of my scalp condition, I use T-gel. Sometimes I use it on my son as well because he can have quite flaky scalp. Um, but that's that's working wonders for us. In terms of washing our hair, my daughter's hair I wash every two to three weeks. I'd like to be more frequent than that. And I need to be, I used to be every two weeks like clockwork. Um, but time gets in the way sometimes. Um, so every two to three weeks, I'd say I wash my daughter's hair. I need to do it more often than that because she's at school, etc. And my son probably washes his hair every 10 to 14 days. Uh, even less than that, to be honest. He's more frequent. In terms of reties, I get my hair retied every four to five weeks. My hair is quite fast growing. It cost me £85 with my consultant. She's an ambassador. Uh, typically, I'll have two people working on my hair, not throughout Yes, yeah, so I will have two people consistently working on my hair. I'll have them at different points and it takes over four hours to do my hair. I think if I was to leave it any longer than that, I'd probably be in the chair for goodness knows how long. In terms of my own children, I retighten their hair and I retighten their hair every six weeks or so, I would say. I use the London Lock Tool to retighten my children's hair and this is what it looks like. Uh, it's got a little hook that you hook onto the lock and then you retie. My consultant doesn't use that with mine. She doesn't use a sister lock tool either. She uses something else, uh, which I've seen a lot of the sister lock consultants use. Um, something that you, you um, it, it doesn't latch onto the hair in the way that, that that does. It doesn't latch on at all, actually. So it doesn't, it doesn't work quite as well for me, but I've seen a lot of people use that and it works perfectly fine for my consultant. In terms of how we maintain our hair in, with moisture, I used to use, sorry, I've got everything around. I used to use Heritage Store rose water, which was fine. Uh, the smell was quite strong, but it was absolutely fine. I found that, yeah, my, sometimes I'd water it down because if you use too much of it, it could make your hair feel quite crunchy. Uh, I've changed from using this because it got really expensive. When I first got Sister Locks, it was like six pounds something. Now it's like, what is it, 11, 12 pounds in the UK from Amazon or wherever. So I just switched. I changed over to what my consultant uses. And my consultant uses this. Again, get this from Amazon. I like this. We don't have to water it down. It's not too strong. It's not too overbearing. And recently I've started adding about a tablespoon or so of vegetable glycerine to it. And that's really good. That feels really good. This vegetable glycerine is like a, it's like an oil. Um, in fact, some people cream themselves with this, don't they? Oh, quite runny. It's like a, yeah, like an oil. Um, really, yeah. So I add about a teaspoon of that, sorry, not a teaspoon, about maybe about a tablespoon of that to my to my bottle, to my mist bottle. Mist bottle I got from either Amazon or Temu. I think my husband got this from Temu actually. So in here we've got that rose water and the glycerine, vegetable glycerine. And I spray my scalp with this and my locks, particularly the ends of my locks. Um, now, in terms of me, I would say that I only missed my hair after a retie. In the days after that, I really need it on my scalp. Um, otherwise, I would say I only do it when I wash my hair. After I wash my hair and I do a braid out or just after I wash my hair, I would use this. My son uses it several times a day. My son was a bit of a product junkie. And I think this is just an overhang from that because we don't use any grease or any oils in or on our scalp, apart from this vegetable glycerine that I've talked to you about inside the, inside the bottle. My daughter, we probably miss my daughter's hair. So anytime we do a style, we do that to make the hair more malleable. 
uh, but otherwise I would say we missed my daughter's hair every four to seven days if that and then like I say my son's using it several times a day on his hair when we sleep my children typically sleep with a friend of mine has got um, a bonnet line angel rose so my daughter sleeps with this always has her hair covered in fact my daughter prefers to have her hair covered rather than anything else she would go out with a bonnet if she could uh, sometimes she uses this fairy godmother we've got loads of these we've probably got about 20 uh, just so that we're constant because we're constantly you know you, the head sweats don't it so we've got loads of these i use a much bigger one uh, but again bonnet i've got a few bonnets and i've also got i'm going to call it a lock sleeve so i use that i don't always cover my hair i'm getting better at it because i don't want i don't want debris and god knows whatever else in my locks right it's that's the most annoying thing about locks the build up and the what do they call it I can't remember the term, but the bits that get into your lock. So I try to cover my locks every night, but I'm not perfect. What I do have every single night, and I even take this when I travel with work or leisure, I always take um, some satin pillowcases. And again, we've got loads of these from Amazon. Uh, they're good for your skin and your hair. So we all sleep with these. Um, and that works quite well for us as well. Just looking at what else I've got to tell you or share with you. I think that's it. I think that's it so yeah we're all at different stages of our journey my daughter and i pretty much the same we're both coming up to five years my daughter sooner than i and then my son has got brother locks um i'll give you a quick look at my locks so i had it retied about 10 11 days ago and this is the end of a braid out i've done a braid out after i washed my hair plaited it very tightly and then I, two days later, I was at my retie. So we took it out, took the braids out. And then my sister lock consultant retied it. I'm finding that the longer my locks get, the more difficult it is to hold on to the curls. But they still do a good job. Um, and what you're seeing here is the aloe vera gel that I'm going to go wash out, the remnants of the aloe vera gel. Um... But yeah, we are we are going strong. We're loving the journey. We're loving the freedom. And we keep it simple and basic. No conditioners, no oils, no greases, because we don't need to. Our hair scalp is just looking after itself. And I think so long as you keep it healthy and clean and you haven't got any scalp conditions, and even with me and the scalp condition, it needs very little. It needs very little. If someone had told me uh, back when I was, you know, when I had relaxed hair or even when I was growing up, if someone had said to me that Afro hair doesn't need product, I'd have thought they were crazy. Because as far as I was concerned, we needed everything. We needed blue magic. We needed pink hair moisturizer. We needed jam gel. We needed everything in the shop, <laughs> right? We needed everything as far as I was concerned. And now I'm going through life using nothing, waking up, shaking it out, flicking it back and forth and going about my business. And then every so often I decide that it needs a little bit of rose water. If anybody had have ever told me that that was healthy and good and that my hair would grow and retain in the way that it has, I'd have said they were crazy. Like most of us, it's a crazy thought, isn't it? That we don't need product and stuff, but we don't. And my hair isn't dry or crunchy or unhealthy. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall off or, you know, it, it, it's just fine. And I live in the UK. I live in UK climate and it's fine. Now, granted, that may not be the same for everybody. We're all different. We all have different needs. But I have to be honest, for my daughter and I, the further we get into this journey, the easier it becomes and we just do not need a lot of product or a lot of anything i've shown you what we use from the shampoo to what we cover our hair with to what we sleep on to what we spray in our hair to moisturize it it's all very simple and it's all very natural and that's what i love about having sister locks if you've got any questions or comments or anything that i can help you with at all please feel free to drop that 
in the comment section and I will answer because I love sharing information. I love sharing my experience. I'm no longer as obsessed as I used to be reading everything, researching everything, but I still feel a responsibility to share because that's how I found out about it. And as a result of me sharing, I've got friends, I've got family members who have gone off and got locks as a result. So my sister, a couple of my friends, and there's people in the UK that are becoming more interested in an alternative to looking after their hair. So yeah, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just information, isn't it? And then we make our own choices. So yeah, if I can help in any way, if there's anything you want to know, please feel free to ask me questions and I will respond. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Look after yourself and I'm going to get a shower and scrub down my locks. Take care. Bye bye.